Congress now investigating President Trump's explosive claims of being wiretapped by the Obama administration during the race for the White House. Yep, the shocking allegations spurring hasty denials from the former president and intel officials. But if true, what sort of legal trouble could they face? We have called in Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano, who's got a headline, and the headline is, the president of the United States, if he wanted to, Barack Obama, he could Absol order a wiretap. Absolutely. If Donald Trump wanted to, he could surveil anybody. That's directly in the FISA statute, which after laying out a lot of detailed procedures about what the NSA is supposed to do, says literally, notwithstanding all of the above, the President of the United States may on his own uh, conduct surveillance or order surveillance of any person in the United States upon the filing of a certification with the Attorney General, of course, works for the President. Mm -hmm. So the idea that it was illegal for Barack Obama to listen to the phone calls and in-person conversations of Donald Trump is wrong. It, in my view, is immoral and profoundly unconstitutional and utterly wrong, but it's lawful because Congress has said it is lawful. This is power that was given to every president from Jimmy Carter up to and including Donald yeah, Trump. It's still Judge, I don't think the power was intended to spy on your political enemy. Well, of course not. Of course not. But the language is so broad that it would that it would authorize okay. it. So the last thing in the world the intelligence community wants is an investigation by the Congress which will expose how truly pervasive spying is. How the intelligence mm -hmm. community captures everything we say on our uh, they mobile it. devices, every, every time we, we touch a key on our mobile devices, on our desktops, every conversation on the landline, every piece of data that goes across any fiber in the United States, into or out of the United States, is captured digitally by the NSA. The NSA is in the military. So the president tells the military, I need the conversation Trump mm -hmm. had with Kilmeade in, in Trump Tower. He'll ha have it in a few minutes. Well, let me ask you it's this. Like when that. James Clapper came out and said, I'm national intelligence director, if somebody wiretapped uh, the Trump Tower, I would know about it, and it didn't happen. He, he actually didn't say it that way. He chose his words very carefully. Semantic. He said, if somebody got a FISA warrant for this, I would know about it. The president doesn't need a FISA warrant oh. because the statute authorizes the president to bypass FISA. And quite frankly, Brian, we are all skeptical of anything James Clapper says because he lied under oath, and we all know that. Right. When Senator Wyden asked him, is the NSA spying on tens or hundreds of millions of Americans, and he answered no, Senator sure. Wyden knew the answer was yes, General Clapper knew the answer was yes, they gave him a chance to correct the answer, and he didn't do it. Yeah. Isn't it interesting? One week, the Democrats like Comey. The next week, the Republicans like him. Yes, now he's caught in the middle of this because in, in his perception of what President Trump tweeted, the FBI has been tarnished. The FBI doesn't use FISA. The FBI has a very, very small intelligence unit. The vast majority of what the FBI does is investigate crimes. Sure. They need a warrant. Because if you gather evidence without a warrant, the courts are not going to hear it. If you so gather evidence with a warrant, then it's competent evidence in a trial. So you doubt that Comey actually came across through this unnamed source to the New York Times. It was published on Sunday night. Uh, we all saw it on Monday. That said that there was no, there was no surveillance of Trump Tower. By the FBI. Yeah. By the FBI. Right. The FBI More wouldn't caveats. be in the business of surveilling Trump Tower unless they thought crimes right. so were going there, on in there. If there is an investigation and it does come out that President Trump, President Obama was wiretapping President Trump, or then the nothing's going to happen, right? Because I think it wasn't I, uh, nothing illegal. legal is going to happen. I think the political earthquake. Would, would destroy whatever legacy Barack Obama has. That, as Steve said at the outset of this conversation, he did it for the most base and venal reasons to tarnish a political sure. opponent. Right. This power is so extraordinary. It's only supposed to be used to secure the United States of America right. as a sovereign entity. It's not supposed to be used to torment sure. your political opponents. You know, so there's going to be an investigation. The president wants an investigation. Yes. All, all they really need is a whistleblower. Yes, right? they do. And if I, you're a whistleblower, you're watching right now, you know what happened if something happened. What do they do? Do they go to the IG of the DOJ or something exactly like that? That's exactly what they do. Well, they go to the IG, the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community. The Intelligence Community, which consists of 16 known intelligence entities in the federal government, and probably a few unknown, yeah. has an Inspector General who has a procedure for mm -hmm. whistleblowers. That way they I get protection. almost assure you that if this is a thorough and complete investigation, you will see whistleblowers, perhaps behind right. a screen, 
testifying Based on, on our screen you know, before these committees. What's so interesting is, in listening to you disseminate this, like I've, no one's ever broken it down like this before, if Donald Trump is listening to his daily briefing or reading it, and he's hearing things that only someone would know if they knew him or tapped phone conversations, that would conclude him to believe that someone had to be tapping phones in the Trump organization, which makes you wonder who had that power, goes back to the president. He gets an intel. You're exactly right. He gets an intelligence briefing every morning. He knows more about this than any of any of us do. And one of them could very well have said, "By the way, your predecessor was listening to those conversations sure. you had with Kilmeade and Ducey and Ainsley and Napolitano and everybody else that met with him." So he tweets it out at six and plays golf at seven. Correct. Do you think it happened? Do you think he was wiretapped? Yes. Something happened. Yes, I do. And the reporters aren't in trouble per se. It's whoever leaked them the stuff. Correct. All the stuff, once it's leaked, <clears throat> is lawful, to, uh, lawful yeah. to print. The leaker is the person in trouble. Why do you think trouble. it happened? For the reasons Steve has, uh, has uh, articulated. I think they concluded by the end of, or the middle of October, that Mrs. Clinton was going down, and they wanted to see if there was a way to prevent, to stop yeah. her fall, yeah. and to prevent his rise, and they didn't find it. Wow. Thanks so much, Judge. Appreciate You're welcome, it. Guys. All the best. Thanks, Judge. Okay. Gosh, All right. he knows the law. Up and down, back and forth. It's, it's amazing. That's you know a lot of things. He's a judge. You know a lot of things. No, but that you I know. can just rattle them off. He tells <laughs> you the law. It's what like, the law says. It's like he went to law school. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs>